those darts and tankards. You don't have to go down the pub, the pub comes to you. A big brown bull. And a horse that became a national treasure. I think Jim Bowen is brilliant. Thank you. Bullseye, a super smashing great show. You can't beat a bit of bully. Bullseye, three teams of two people, one a darts player, one a non-darts player. The darts player shot for prizes and points. That's the bullseye, £200. Good start. And his partner answering questions. Jonathan Swift wrote four books about Gulli Gulliver's travels. What is the land called? Lilliput. We thought it was Dwarf Tralia. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the most points got through to the final and the big prizes. Let's meet our contestants tonight on Bullseye. The partners were meant to be in some way related to each other or good friends. You are John's wife's uncle. That's right. The connections between <laughs> some of the contestants are yes. extremely tenuous. Can we ask how you're connected? We never discussed well, it, did we? Well, I'm a daughter the same age as Julie, yeah. and I'm friends with their mother and our daughters grew up together. There's just something else that I need to watch it, I think. They've never met each other before in their lives. Just stand up a minute, John. And he was obsessed with people's size. Jack, just stand next to him. <laughs> 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 when you heard him make jokes about people's weight, you'd think, oh, no. You're a very keen soccer player, sir. Yes. Yeah. Stand up straight, let's have a look at it. It's fair. <laughs> Do you play the goal post or the corner flag? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, mind. Nobody ever took offence at anything that Jim said to them. Because he always did it with a smile, he could get away with that. You're a postman, That's so right. you'll have seen a few knockers in your time. <laughs> the contestants all seem to specialise in the most obscure kind of jobs. And the part thing bounced said and slaughtered me. A slaughter them. <laughs> <laughs> they must have looked at the jobs and thought, ah, we'll have this one. They used to put jelly into pork pies. Yes. <laughs> you believe that at all? There's such a job as putting jelly into pork pies. <laughs> the contestants' jobs were strange, but the infamous bully was even stranger. And I loved the spelling thing, like that. C-O-N-C-I-S-E is absolutely right. Well done. Bully became the star of the show. The animation of Bully coming in every now and then, I used to find quite annoying. The idea of a big moving cow is clearly the product of a late session working on the programme in the pub. <laughs> it's amazing how the, the image of golf has altered over the last five years, isn't it? The golf? Uh, the, the darts, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> Jim made his name on that show by being sometimes very bad. Cat, cat. No, they'll leave it in. I know my producer will leave that in. He makes me laugh. He's got one of those faces, and when he loses control, that is actually even better. Listen, we all like to see things go wrong on television. You a grand actor? No, I'm ten. I know you're telling. I'm only testing. <laughs> <laughs> The fear bit was there, but you needed to be frightened to do it. Sadly, I was too frightened and didn't do it sometimes. Let's see what's behind Bully's prize board for you. And what? You'd always know when you'd got to Bully's prize board because you'd hear Tony Green's voice. They said, well, can we get something a little bit more umph into it? And that's when it all came out. I said, right up, I'll give you it. Here we go. And Bully's special prize! And we're giving you nine darts. Six and three. OK, keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. The poor darts player has to give their darts over to the person who actually can't throw anything. And, you know, it's like, dong, dong, dong. Hopeless. But, you know, if you're a brain, how can you throw things as well? Because Tony built the prizes up so much by going, in six, you'd think, my goodness, what is going to be in this section? In six. A luxury carriage clock. <laughs> is that the stuff that you really not want? So you won the music centre and the matching gold pens. At the end, there was the big bit where you got a chance to gamble your prizes and all that, and invariably they didn't seem to go for anything. What are you going to do? Who's going to speak to you? We've had a wonderful day, Jim and then we're going to cut and run. I'd say, oh, no, Jim, we've had a wonderful day. We'll let somebody else have a go. We've had a great day. We've had a great day. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take what we've got. got. There are your bullies. Everybody wanted a bully. All that came on the show sometimes was for a bully. Tension built as finalists had to score 101 or more for the star prize. Oh! And, of course, there's the ultimate pain uh, of dangling that big old carrot in front of your nose. Have a look at what you would have won. When the screen came up and they lost, there is no way you can wrap that up. You can't say, there you are, <laughs> and laugh. People always used to seem to win a speedboat, which sounds <laughs> good. You won a speedboat, it's a 16-foot cabin cruiser. <laughs> mm, can't afford a car, here's a boat. This is where you live. You're going home with a boat. So that's Bullseye, 340 episodes, nearly 20,000 dots, and a whole lot of bullying.